My kids love it when I prepare fun food. Today I'm going to show you how to make these gorgeous pulled lamb wraps with marinated onions, rocket leaves and tahini sauce. It's such a delicious recipe, easy to make and so much fun to eat. For this recipe, I always start off by preparing a beautiful marinade. I'm going to be using lamb shoulder and I'll be rubbing it with this beautiful mixture of cinnamon powder, Arabic spice, turmeric powder, white pepper, and black pepper. To give this a vibrant layer of flavor, I'm going to be adding some fresh orange zest. I like to use these micro blades. They're just really helpful to get all that beautiful zest. Finally, I'll add in some olive oil and mix everything together. Okay, now we can start rubbing this on my lamb. Before I rub the marinade, I'm going to gently season my lamb with some salt. And I'll just coat this on top and rub it all in. You're gonna wanna let this marinate for at least an hour, ideally overnight, and allow all the flavors to develop beautifully together. I'm going to be braising my lamb in the oven and what I like to do is cook it in a Dutch oven pot. I'm going to preheat it, sear my lamb in it, then add all my ingredients and then stick this in the oven. Once it's heated, I'm just going to sear my lamb. I'm just going to flip it. And then once it's brown, reserve it on the side. And in the same pot, I'm going to be adding the mirepoix base. That's going to add a lot of flavor. I've got celery, which I'm just going to cut into large chunks. A couple of carrots. A couple of onions, which I'll cut into quarters. And finally, I'm going to be adding some garlic bulbs. And a quick tip is you don't want to cut on the root end of the bulb. You want to cut on the top. And this way, the bulb stays all intact. And now I'm just going to add all these ingredients into the same pot that I browned my lamb. I want all those flavors to develop and the vegetable is just going to serve as a little bed for the lamb to sit on. Add in the garlic bulbs and something that I like to add to my braised lamb is slices of orange. I find that it really, really just gives it a beautiful flavor and I'll just thinly slice, or I should say, cut into medium slices. And just place these on top. Finally, for aromatics, I've got some bay leaves and some thyme. And this is just gonna give everything a beautiful layer of flavor. And finally, end with two cups of chicken stock and around two to three cups of water. Cover the pots, allow the liquid to come to a boil, and we're gonna place this in the oven and let it slow cook at 180 degrees Celsius for about three to four hours. So while my lamb is cooking, I'm gonna start preparing the different components for my wrap. I'm gonna be preparing marinated red onions and I like using red onions and I'll just thinly slice
I'm gonna season it with a bit of salt, some ma, and I'm going to cover it in olive oil and let it marinate for about 10 to 15 minutes. I'm just gonna add a little bit more some ma, because I want it to have a nice tart flavor to offset the earthy tones of the olive oil. I'm gonna leave this on the side. Now I'm gonna start preparing the tahini sauce. I'll need tahini paste. Lemon juice. I'm just gonna cut off the edges so that it's easy to squeeze. Just whisk these ingredients together and gently add a bit of water to dilute it to the right consistency. Don't worry, the more you whisk, the smoother the consistency will get. And just add more water until you get the preferred consistency. And I'll finally season with some salt. And I like to give it a bit of heat, some chili powder. And always remember to taste everything as you go to make sure that you're happy with all the flavors. Mm. Nice tart with a bit of heat. Now it's time to go and check on my lamb. My lamb has been cooking for the past few hours and I can't wait to show you how it looks inside. Look at that beautiful color. I'm going to gently remove the piece of lamb onto a serving platter. And with a fork, I'm just going to shred. Just look at how perfectly cooked that piece of meat is. Now I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna use this gorgeous succulent meat for my wraps. So what I like to do is grab a little pita bread. Now you can either choose to uh, divide it in half. I'm just gonna keep it as it is. These are nice thin pieces of bread. I'm gonna start off by adding some rocket on the base of my wrap then topping it with some pulled lamb. How beautiful does that look? Ooh, and then we'll drizzle some tahini sauce. onions and I'll just simply fold it into a little cone like so and just hold the sandwich in with a pick toothpick
delicious and flavorful pulled lamb wraps. Serve it with whatever size that you like most importantly enjoy i allow the kids to just have all the condiments in front of them and they can mix and match whatever combination they like if you want to add tomatoes pickles uh, avocados whatever you like just add it in there and most importantly enjoy and that comes my favorite part time to test it out I always want more tahini sauce. This is so good. Mm. See you guys later.